Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video we are going to talk about what is WordPress and by the end of this video you will know exactly what WordPress is and what are the benefits and what are the cons of WordPress. So WordPress is a free open source content management system that allows users to create and manage websites easily. And WordPress was launched in 2003 and WordPress has evolved in one of the most popular web publishing platforms powering over 40% of all websites sites on the internet. So just imagine guys that almost every second website which you are visiting or seeing on internet it is built by WordPress. In this video I will explain you what WordPress is, its key features, benefits and how you can get started with WordPress. So what is WordPress? So WordPress is a versatile CMS or content management system that enables users to build and maintain websites without needing extensive technical skills. You can learn WordPress easily even if you are not a developer or if you are not a coder or programmer you can start learning WordPress and you can build websites straight away. So WordPress started as a blogging platform at the very start it was built as a blogging platform but now it has grown to support wide range of website types including business sites, so you can build business sites, online stores, portfolios, forums and many more websites by using WordPress. WordPress comes in two forms and this is also very important to understand if you are just starting out with WordPress and you have no idea about WordPress. That there is a WordPress.org and there is a WordPress.com. So what are the differences between these two? WordPress.org also known as self-hosted WordPress is a free to download and install on on your web hosting server. You can think about WordPress.org as a software package which you can just grab and which you can install and which you can modify and you can build websites by using this free software. And WordPress.org offers a free control over your website and access to thousands of plugins and themes. And if we talk about plugins then you can think about plugins that these are small species of software which you can install in WordPress and by installing plugins in WordPress you can add different other functionalities to your WordPress website. Website. For example, if you build a WordPress website and if you decide to have a contact form, you can find the contact form plugin to install into your WordPress website and now you have a contact form functionality also in your website. And there are thousands of plugins which are developed for WordPress which allows you to add thousands of different functionalities to your WordPress website. And there are also WordPress themes. And talking about WordPress themes, WordPress themes allow you to add easily the a different look of your website and there are also thousands of different WordPress themes which you can install and whenever you are installing a WordPress theme you are changing the look and layout of your website and then there is WordPress.com like I mentioned we just talked about WordPress.org but there is also WordPress.com and WordPress.com this is a hosted version of WordPress where a hosting and maintenance are managed for you it's easier to set up but comes with limitations on customers Optimization and control compared to self-hosted version. So this is pretty much a blogging platform. WordPress.com is a blogging platform where you can create your kind of blog or website but you will not have full control over your website where if you are using wordpress.org you can build different types of websites and you can also build websites for your customers and you can sell your websites as this is a free software and that's the main difference between wordpress.org and wordpress.com so if you just need a blog then you go with wordpress.com but you will not have a full functionality of your blog but if you want to build the website for example for clients you use wordpress.org. So what are key features of WordPress? Firstly, this is user-friendly interface. WordPress offers an intuitive and easy to navigate interface that makes website creation and management accessible to everyone, regardless of technical expertise. This means that you don't need to learn any coding or programming to start building websites by using WordPress. And themes are plugins. We already discussed that with thousands of themes and plugins available, WordPress provides extensive customization options. 
so you can fully take control over your websites. Themes control the appearance of your site, while plugins add functionality such as contact forms or SEO tools or search engine optimization tools and e-commerce compatibilities. This means that you can build even online stores by using WordPress, but like I mentioned, this would be by using WordPress.org. And SEO friendly, which means that WordPress is designed with SEO or search engine optimization best practices in mind, making it easier for your site to rank well in search engine results. And the responsive design, most WordPress themes are responsive. This means that out of the box, whenever you are building website in WordPress, your website will be compatible on mobile devices and it will be also compatible on desktop devices. And community support. WordPress has a large and active community that offers extensive documentation, forums, tutorials and support to help users at all levels. Whenever you have any problem, as WordPress has started back in 2003, like I mentioned earlier on guys, then you have a huge community and there is a huge help and you can easily find find the problem or solution for whatever questions you might have when you are developing by using WordPress. Benefits of using WordPress. Firstly, WordPress stands out for its flexibility, scalability and ease of use. Here are some benefits of using WordPress for your website. Firstly, this is cost effective as an open source platform. Open source means that it is absolutely free and everyone can take it and use it. WordPress is free to use, so you don't need to pay anything for using WordPress software. The main costs are for hosting and any premium themes or plugins you choose to purchase. So you can get WordPress for absolutely free, but you will have to pay. If you will want to host your website, you will need to buy hosting, which is relatively cheap. Like I was mentioning in my videos, this is about $2.70 per month and you will also need a domain name and domain names also cost about $10 per year, guys not per month but per year and WordPress websites are customizable with a wide range of themes and plugins you can tailor your website to meet your specific needs and preferences. WordPress websites are SEO friendly, built in SEO features and plugins like Yoast help improve your site's visibility on search engines and WordPress websites are also secure. Regular updates and vast selection of security plugins help keep your WordPress site safe from vulnerabilities and threats, for example from hackers and WordPress websites are also scalable. WordPress can handle websites of all sizes from small blogs to large e-commerce stores with thousands of products. And not to mention guys that there is already there is many government websites, many celebrity websites which are also built by using WordPress. So how to get started with WordPress? Choose your hosting and domain. This is the first thing because after you will download free WordPress version from WordPress.org you will need to place your WordPress files somewhere where it is accessible to internet. So you will need to get a hosting and you will also need to get a domain name so people can search on internet and whenever they search on internet they will be able to see your website because the domain name is directly connected to hosting. So these are two things like I mentioned earlier you will need to purchase. Firstly hosting, this is where your WordPress uh, installation or files will live and domain name this is how people on internet will be able to access your WordPress. And most hosts provide easy installation options through their control panels and this is already built in. One of such is HostGator which I am using myself. And select the theme, choose the theme that suits your website or how your, you want your website to look and customize it to match your brand. Whenever you are getting a theme, you can change that theme to your needs. And you can find free and premium themes in the WordPress theme repository and third-party marketplaces. So there is a lot of different free themes, so as there are themes which are charging for using different options in those themes. Publish your site. Once you have customized your site and added content, it is simply to go live regularly, update your site with new content and keep plugins and themes updated for optimal performance and security, guys. So, in conclusion, WordPress is a powerful and flexible content management system that 
caters a wide range of website needs. Its user-friendly interface, extensive customization options and strong community support make it an ideal choice for beginners and experienced web developers alike. Whether you are building a personal blog, a business site or an online store, WordPress provides the tools and resources to bring your vision to life. And another huge thing about WordPress is that it provides backend where you can easily, if you are creating content, for example pages or adding content to those pages without knowledge of any code, you can log in into the backend of your website and you can easily manage or add content or delete content on your website. So as building websites by using WordPress has become so popular by developers also just because of this reason that developers can create websites and they can sell them to their clients and their clients don't need to know any coding or programming to add content easily by just logging into the backend and copying and pasting or writing content and adding images and videos to their websites. So yes guys this was my quick explanation on what is WordPress. Hope that you found this video useful. If you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel channel if you are new and see you in the next one.